name is Dr. Gregory Pussell and this is TMJ Course 103 where we're going to talk about internal derangement. That's internal derangement of the actual disc to the jaw joint. And we're going to start with normal again and just to quickly recap, on your initial motion the jaw is centered, uh, jaw joint is centered, you're on the disc, the teeth are all touching, the, everything's in balance. In your initial motion you'll go through a rotational phase, you'll go through a rotational phase, and after you go through this rotational phase, uh, you can only get so much motion out of that, you'll go through what's called translation, where this slides all the way, where this jaw joint slides down and you open up the rest of the way. As I said, you want it to open up about three fingers reciprocally, then this starts to translate back, and you go back into rotation and close. So that's a normal situation. What if we had a different bite? If the bite that we have is different, then of course, like I said, the teeth will win out over the bite. As you can see right now, when I interdigitate, this is driven all the way back. I can't quite get this to ever fit together right without this being on the disc. So what often will happen is, is this, the muscles will actually pull this disc, which looks like the, uh, uh, a uh, football helmet that sits on top of the head, as you can see in this close-up in this illustration and then coming back to the model we can see now that the little disc which is represented by this little piece of plastic in order for this to work we'll have to pull forward and now everything fits together and now this has been driven superior this has been driven up to the top of the head where this jaw joint now can uh, rub up against the head we've seen extreme wear on these cases we've seen the, these condyles actually getting flattened off. We've seen them actually in real extreme cases. We've seen them where they've been worn away completely. Uh, very extreme cases that is. So in uh, for this kind of a situation now you've got the disc that's in front as you can see in the uh, close-up and what we have is a motion to where you're going to go through your rotation and nothing changes. So you, for your first 20 millimeters nothing changes. You still go through your rotation but as you go into translation you pop back on that disc again for you to be able to slide forward and slide down that eminence. So reciprocally as you start to close when you get to a certain point you pop back off the disc so all the teeth can fit together. So this is what's called the internal derangement popping off and on of the disc. That's the click or the pop that you hear in your jaw joint. So as you go through your opening you again you click back on as you slide forward and as you start to close you click back off. A lot of times you don't hear that closing click. Don't know why, but it's that's that's exactly what happens. So now the disc is in front. So this also, again, can cause headache, neck aches, all the symptoms that we talked about before, uh, including back pain, and also TMJ pain, actually pain directly into that joint itself because of the pressures that you're putting on these tissues and nerves in that up in that area. So what can we do to fix that? Again, we'll have to put in some kind of a splint because what we want to do is we want to create some height in the back so that now we can be balanced. We can have this being on the splint, uh, that make some height in the back so the jaw joint can come down where it needs to be and there's room for the disc again. So holding that in the position, then we would have to do something subsequently after we did the splint in order for us to build up these back teeth so they hit sooner and support the jaw joint in its ideal position. Again, that could be uh, adding new crowns on the back tops of the teeth, could be uh, orthodontics, and there's a whole series of possibilities that, that could happen with that, but that would have to be at the time of uh, treatment to really determine what would be in your best interest to do, to, uh, to do that. So this is really the internal derangement, now we have it recaptured and we're in a happy harmonious position once again with the joint being in its best possible position and the muscles all being relaxed and happy. Thank you for watching. This was TMJ Course 103. Watch TMJ Course 104. It's about uh, what we call the closed lock. Thank you.